thank you guys for joining back with us uh, on the continuation of the previous video so in this video we will uh, talk about is the various options that are available with the servers if you remember in the last video uh, we logged on to the uh, uh, OCA then we came here let's open up this setting here uh, again the config file we will open up, open it up and we will try and configure various options for the uh, AD server and the app server that we made last time and uh, just give it a second it'll just open up and uh, usually it takes time after the uh, OCA was uh, there are various updates that happened from a uh, uh, monthly or uh, uh, weekly basis um, so usually uh, you get to see uh, quite a few changes that happen in OCA and uh, sometimes it, it gets a little slower usually on the weekends but uh, generally it's fast enough for us to work on great so uh, let's uh, fall back on the server that we had configured in the uh, earlier uh, configurations so what we'll do is let's uh, go ahead and select the AD server here if you want to check the uh, how we reached here uh, let, let me just go back uh, on the route uh, how we reached these icons uh, I'll just go back and uh, I'll check my previous videos you'll come to uh, you'll come to this site and you know, you'll uh, land up here and then we'll uh, from here on you can continue the uh, second video where it talks about uh, various options that are available in the server so let's go back on the AD server uh, we had chosen a 12 core processor here and I showed you last time how we add processors, change processors, and a little a tour of the portal and the uh, the uh, config here. So this ribbon, we can just go ahead and hide it. And in the previous video, I showed on how we select the processors and how we can change the processors and uh, change the memory, change the storage, choose different RAID guards, uh, choose different hard drives, and the networking. In this video, uh, we will more or less talk about the riser cards, uh, how to add them, uh, what are these riser cards used for, and how to add them. So uh, once you're here already on this website, you have already chosen your uh, requested processor, your memory, and your storage, which means your SSDs and your uh, spindle hard drives, then uh, sometimes the customer wants more connectivity on the system or they want more uh, graphic cards on the system. They want to some sort of, uh, uh, you know, add more uh, HDMI, DVI ports, connect multiple screens, uh, run some app for a graphic acceleration, or in generally, if they are doing some sort of a, uh, uh, ML, uh, like machine learning, or they are crunching some data, uh, rendering files, uh, they will use graphic cards for that. So uh, for graphic cards, the uh, available options are here. By default, the system comes with a standard riser kit, which is on the, uh, once you open, once you're taking a look at the server from the rear side, the uh, riser cards comes, uh, you know, by default, it is there, which is the primary uh, location for the, or uh, location zero for the uh, riser card. The uh, if we unselect this, okay. So uh, we are trying to add and see what our options will come if we unselect this. Uh, the number of riser card options increase. Yeah. So uh, let's say, for example, I want to add uh, like uh, three or four graphic cards. Uh, if you keep the standard riser kit, you will not be able to add uh, four or five uh, four or five graphic cards to a DL server. Uh, as a point, uh, on a DL380 or a DL580, uh, the addition of graphic cards is limited. But if your requirement is for a higher config server, if you're trying to have eight or more graphic cards, then there's a separate server, it's called an HP Apollo, uh, a series uh, server which lets you have uh, eight and above um, graphic cards on your server so uh, a server has a, a primary slot a secondary slot and then a tertiary slot okay 
a tertiary riser kit which is towards the uh, uh, the rightmost corner so from the left, leftmost corner would be a standard riser kit or a primary gpu kit if you want to put a gpu riser card on the uh, on the first slot itself you can do that very well okay so let's choose this and every time you add a primary gpu uh, riser kit you have to have a secondary gpu riser kit it is by default it does not uh, work without it so usually uh, you have to set this up and then you have to set up a uh, if you if you're doing some sort of an nv link between the two riser cards so here you will see that uh, minimum two quantity of the below listed gpu must be ordered so you need to order at least two of these quantities here yeah uh, if both the gpu riser kits are selected then a minimum of four uh, of the gpus have to be selected so a riser card i've selected primary right and let's go ahead and uh, go to the graphic option let's select a tesla t4 card over here let's say i want to have two of these and we will see if the oc allows us to do that so oca is a uh, already rules have been added to the oca so you do not if you make a mistake or if you add a wrong uh, let's say uh, which is not uh, you know able to be f uh, which is like other than the design then it's going to throw an error at us and uh, we will have to make the changes to uh, for the error to go away so uh, once you select this you will get an error straight away here which says this option requires a selection of a high performance heatsink so what you can do is you can just copy paste this part number here or you can say heat sink and it will take you to the heat sink so you select this heat sink option here so if you select one part number or if you select a particular hardware there are dependent hardware on it right so if you're not selecting the dependent hardware it's going to show us an error and that's the beauty of OCA it will not let you have a, a wrong part number there and uh, make sure that everything is uh, available there and which is uh, which should be uh, like in a working condition like you don't want to open a box uh, at the customer side and things are not working so these rules have been added to the OCA to make sure that uh, uh, no misconfiguration is uh, done and if it's done then there is a way to uh, get rid of that okay so uh, another thing is that once you are uh, these riser cards are fitting in the uh, so where do we get these riser card settings so let's go to google so we'll say hp riser card guide so you can actually access this uh, on the internet it will tell you uh, it's basically a guide which tells you uh, which riser kit fits at which location and then again uh, let's cancel this out see if we can download this and quickly we'll open this up and we are on the DL380 Gen 10 riser options we'll click on this so this guide you should go through it will uh, uh, tell you exactly which is the primary so this is a primary side if you look at the if you're looking at the server from the top uh, side if you are open up the uh, the panel on the top of the server and are looking down at the server uh, towards the uh, and this is the this is like a zero bay this is where you this is the first hard hard bay hard drive bay which is here at uh, location zero then this is one and this is two so as location zero you will see that uh, is a primary riser card and a b c d uh, g i j l so all these a b c d g i j l will fit here uh, also you need to remember something very important is that the riser cards are connected to the cpu in case you are having just one cpu so you will not be able to have for example like a tertiary card would not be added or a secondary card would not be uh, you cannot add a secondary card because the secondary uh, the half of the secondary card works on uh, uh, like 
primary plus one half of this, uh, like one half the side of this, is connected to the CPU one, and then the rest is connected to the CPU two. And if you're even trying to put something in secondary slot, it will not work. It will ask you for the uh, the secondary processor and this and the relevant memory for that. So please make sure. And uh, if you're trying to add, if a customer comes to you and asks you about, I want one processor, I want uh, uh, two graphic cards, I want a 10 GB card on the server. Uh, it will not work because you need to have a second processor to start having the secondary riser cards and uh, additionally, you will have to uh, add the memory and uh, other graphic cards option to it. So the cost of the server was, is uh, obviously going to change and increase. So you need to uh, tell that to the end user. So you should go through this web. Uh, you should go through this uh, particular uh, uh, the guide, and it's going to tell you where to put what. And it's a really handy guide to have uh, once you're trying to configure this. Uh, so as I was saying, that we in this server we removed the standard riser kit once you remove the standard riser kit the standard riser kit already had a 10 uh, had a 10 gig ethernet card so that one also got removed okay and the 10 gig riser card uh, the 10 gig card sfp card they had uh, two transceivers were there but those two transceivers are still here they did not get removed removed okay so we just make sure of this uh, if you want to put the Let's say let's put the 10 GB. Uh, not a waste. We will put an SFP, SFP plus. Let's see if it throws an error at us. So the idea is to keep the networking also relevant to the existing system. If you are trying to uh, uh, go through a configuration and you're you're giving different options for networking on one server and a different option of networking on the other server it might not uh, adjust to the customer environment and then you have to uh, you know resell some products to them so which is not uh, advisable and uh, not recommended for uh, any sort of a sale and the accounting is going to come back to you on this so what we did here is we'll quickly check the bill of material for this server uh, we added a riser card, primary riser kit here. We added uh, two Tesla GPU cards and we added a, a 10 gig card. Now, so like we added three different options here, <clears throat> right? We added like these two cards here and we added a, a one of the 10 gig cards here. If you look at the riser kit here, it has three slots available, all 16x. So 16, uh, uh, so three cards can go in this particular riser kit. Okay, that's why we were able to add these two of these and one of this. So two plus one is three. Yeah. So uh, rest of the options we are not changing, uh, and uh, this will again. Uh, this is for the AD server we did it. We can do the same for the app server, but we have to make sure uh, the riser card settings are. Uh, kept proper at uh, each of these servers and is uh, done according to the customer requirement. Another option uh, that we will talk about is the uh, M.2 uh, hard drives. So let's do that on the app server here. So let's click on the app server and M.2 is a is a type of uh, is a is a hard disk format basically it is uh, it based on the M.2 technology and uh, it is uh, faster than an SSD, and it looks a little different. So if you check the, if you check on Google, let's say M.2 250 GB. Let's see how that is. So this is how it looks like. Yeah, it's uh, more or less like. Uh, I'm sure you must have seen this. Uh, it looks like, uh, like, uh, like this connector. And it fits inside the server, right? So this is not going to go into a hard drive slot. It will be inside a server. And sometime it is uh, inside a server, or sometime it is also available as an option to be added inside the uh, riser kit. So the riser kit has an available. Uh, so there's a riser kit which lets you plug in these uh, M.2s, and you can uh, install them. Uh, as a boot drive uh, or as a or as another option 
uh, let's go back here uh, let me just stop this and we'll see if an n.2 option is available for us so it will take us to the storage uh, it will, it's, it's telling us that an option is available, so I can choose one. And uh, this option here, uh, the, like the M.2 enablement kit adapter, this adapter kit is uh, sort of a, you can say it's, it's more like a, a caddy. Uh, wherein these M.2s go in and they act as a, uh, they uh, look like a hard disk uh, or an SSD. But actually, if you open that up, it is an M.2 inside. Yeah, so we can select this, we can select a caddy, uh, like an M.2, just uh, the enablement kit here. So an M.2 is a faster medium than an SSD. So you will want to put your uh, uh, your boot media on this or your boot drives or your OS if you're doing virtualization. You will put your media on this. Okay. So you will, uh, put this. So I will put like two of these here. So we chose two here because we will do at least uh, uh, like a RAID 1 on this. Only you can do a RAID 1 on this and it's a software RAID that uh, stays on this. You will still need your, uh, uh, so let's remove this from here. Otherwise it's not going to take us. So you'll still need your hard drives. If uh, So I will remove this from here because I don't need the 488 SATA SSDs now because I'll I'll be doing the OS on the through the M.2 uh, uh, drive medium and uh, what it what it lets us do is that I remove the SSD now now the M.2s two of them and then an enable enablement kit here it will it will act as a uh, like a hard disk caddy for them and you can uh, you can uh, plug in plug it out if you're not using an enablement kit then this uh, m.2 uh, and i was just looking at the picture this one has to be put inside the server you have to open up the top of the server once you are uh, uh, you know you when you're setting up your server you can uh, you can then plug this into the server side uh, inside the server there are like two slots there in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the server um, if this allows me, I want to show you something else. Yeah, sorry. So this one here. So uh, it is uh, available if you, if, uh, it's uh, available right here somewhere. So you can actually make out here in the middle. So these are the M.2 slots. And here in the primary region, in the primary riser kit, it is built inside the riser kit itself. So there's like two slots which are built inside the riser kit. And then you can plug in the M.2s over there. Okay. So uh, in this video, we showed how to uh, add the M.2 riser kits. Uh, add the riser cards uh, for GPUs if you're trying to add uh, uh, graphic processors uh, or gra GPUs to your server and uh, for other options uh, and for checking out the NVMe option in the DL380 Gen 10 Plus servers please uh, check out our other video thank you so much